stuck choosing a Linux desktop? Today, we settle the debate. KDE Plasma 6.5 or GNOME 49? Which one should you actually install? I'll break down visuals, workflow, customization, app ecosystems, real-world performance, and who each desktop is built for. By the end, you'll know exactly which one wins for your setup. KDE and GNOME have been the two most visible faces of the Linux desktop for years. KDE promises endless control and polish. GNOME promises focus and simplicity. Let's compare what they actually do for you in 2026, starting with look and first impressions. First impressions, aesthetics and workflow. KDE Plasma greets you with a familiar, configurable desktop, panels, widgets, and a traditional taskbar. It's immediately comfortable if you're coming from Windows or old school desktops. Plasma's default layout is flexible. Move panels, add widgets, change global themes, or switch to a tiling layout with a few clicks. GNOME 49 takes a different approach. Minimal UI, activities overview, and opinionated layout choices that guide you toward a distraction-free workflow. Its default session centers on large, clean UI elements and an overview that prioritizes windows and workspaces over desktop widgets. Under the hood, new features and core changes. KDE Plasma 6.5. Plasma 6.5 brings several polish and performance improvements. For example, support for GPU overlay planes, reducing CPU and power when playing full screen content, and faster startup times thanks to optimized splash slash login sequences. The 6.5 release also bumped framework slash Qt requirements in places as part of the migration to the Qt 6 ecosystem. GNOME 49. GNOME 49 continues GNOME's refinement track. Richer quick settings, do not disturb toggle, better power profile handling and HDR brightness control, plus new default apps. Showtime replacing Totem, Papers replacing Events, and additional Wayland improvements aimed at smoother compositing and better responsiveness. Quick editorial note on releases. Both projects shipped meaningful improvements that year. Plasma has continued its deep customization feature expansion. GNOME focused on polishing core workflows and modernizing core apps. Apps and utilities. Dolphin versus Nautilus and the ecosystems. KDE's ecosystem, Dolphin, KWrite Console, Discover, and the KDE system settings, feels consistent and highly integrated. Apps expose many options and tend to match Plasma's configuration depth. GNOME's core apps aim for simplicity. GNOME Files, Nautilus, trends towards a minimal UI and tight integration with GNOME Shell. Some power features are intentionally omitted to keep the UX clean, which users love or hate depending on workflow. Customization Wars If you want to tweak everything, Plasma wins. Themes, panel layouts, widgets, window decorations, and built-in options to change window behavior. Plasma gives you tools in the settings without relying on third-party hacks. GNOME gets customization mainly through extensions. That's powerful, but extensions can sometimes lag across GNOME releases and occasionally break until they're updated. GNOME's approach favors a curated, consistent base with opt-in customizations. Performance and Wayland, real-world considerations. Wayland adoption has matured in both. Benchmarks and real-world tests show results depend on compositor implementation and drivers. Some independent tests find Plasma's Wayland session delivering better responsiveness in certain GPU driver combinations, while GNOME's maturity on Wayland keeps improving and focuses on consistent behavior across distributions. On low-end hardware, Plasma's configurability can be tuned down for better performance. GNOME tends to demand more baseline resources, but can feel smoother on modern machines because of its focused stack. Practical tip on gaming and multimedia. If you need low latency video playback or specific GPU features, check the compositor's hardware support, NVIDIA, Intel, AMD.
and test both sessions on your actual machine. Who should choose which? User profiles. Pick KDE Plasma if you are a tinkerer who loves theming and deep settings, a power user who wants advanced window rules, KWIN scripting, or a feature-rich file manager. Using a mid-range to high-end system where you want to tune behavior. Pick GNOME if you are. Someone who wants a clean, distraction-free workspace out of the box. A user who prefers a consistent, curated app set with strong defaults and less fiddling. Running a modern system where you prefer a set-it-and-forget-it desktop. Final verdict. There isn't a universal winner. Plasma and GNOME serve different philosophies. If customization and features are your priority, KDE Plasma 6.5 is the champion. If a minimal, focused workflow is what you want, GNOME 49 is the better match. Which desktop do you run? Tell me in the comments. KDE Plasma or GNOME, and why? If you want, drop your hardware, CPU, GPU, RAM, and I'll suggest which session might be best for you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.